Yo, what's going on guys? Raph here bringing you episode 9 of Gearing Up. And uh, this is the gear that we currently have at the start, and I have to say this is the most hype episode I've of anything I think I've ever put out on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to leave a like, because this was by far like some of my best BVM moments like ever in this entire game. First ring of the task, and it's a Sears ring, as, as always. I don't know why. I, I think uh, ever since I started like playing on my main, I think I've actually had a Sears ring every single Dagonoth task that I've gotten, which is kind of weird. I, I don't think I've had a ring off of Rex. I, I, don't, I don't get this game. Anyway, Sears ring, yay. Ah, there's the Archer's ring that we always get. Um, Sears rings, Archer's rings, that's pretty much all we ever get, but hey, I'll take it. Three mil, not even bad. Yeah. Aw, into the ring of life. Come on, man. I was just rejoicing, and then, then I get that. Rip. Alright, so finish the task, and 5.1 mil seems to be about our average. Um, yeah. Get a new assignment. And we actually got the bastard back. That is amazing. 149 Dagonoths this time. I will definitely take that. Um, me and Dave are actually probably going to go do some Scorpia in a, er, here in a little bit, so I guess I'll try that out. I haven't really done much Scorpia on this account, and, uh, Guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Last kill of the trip. We get a Berserker ring. Two Warrior Rings and um, Dragon Axe. Of course, you know that it, since I was talking about how I never get anything from Rex, this trip does nothing but things from Rex. Nice. Yay, Dagonoth, yeah. Okay, right into the, uh, like, as soon as the test started, I don't even have space to pick it up, but uh, Berserker ring coming in already. Pretty amazing. It's like five kills in. Nice. Okay, Zerker ring into Dragon Axe. That's interesting. I kind of don't want to pick up the Dragon Axe because it's only worth 50k, but I don't know. I guess I'll juggle it. Okay, and the Archer's ring coming in. Awesome. So that's um, some pretty good cash made already. The two most valuable rings and no Sears ring, so I'm happy with that. Alright, there's the Sears ring. Can we get the can we get the Lord of the Rings? I've never had it before. It'd be pretty cool. Obviously this trip is really horrible because I'm not really tryharding it. I'm kind of just like camping my prayers and not really flicking or anything. It's just really chill as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice. It's pretty late at night so I'm just kind of chilling watching some, some YouTube and you know not really flicking anything. But yeah. Mike is uh, Sears of the Rings. Yeah. Another Berserker ring going in. That was amazing. Uh, it's definitely the best trip of DKs I've done in a very long time. Two Berserker rings. Archer's ring. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm, I would say no warrior ring, but I really don't care. So 147 kill trip with uh, no tryharding whatsoever. Didn't even prayer flick or anything, like I was saying. And uh, 10.5 mil. I'll definitely take that and finish it off at regular Dagonauts. But uh, yeah, it's a, definitely an amazing task. Love me some Dagonauts. So guys, I just got a black demon task, and um, I actually, for once, kind of have the money laying around. I think I'm going to buy myself a bludgeon. Um, obviously, I have 23 mil right here, and I have a pretty sizable loot tab that I got kind of going on a little bit, kind of, somewhat, yeah, not, not really. Might be able to sell it and potentially get um, a bludgeon. If not, I'll probably just sell a few things and get a bludgeon and do this task. So, I actually got myself a black demon task, and I'm going to probably do it. I don't know if I'll do the entire thing at Gorillas or not, but I have 12 Dark Totems, so since I'm on a Black Demon task, I think I'm going to use these all up. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to trigger a few of you people. I'm not going to be doing any clues from these, because I, I don't see the point, so I'm not going to be doing the clues. Uh, I don't really like clues, to be completely honest, and if I were to go for the pet, I would probably just... Uh, then I'd start doing clues, but I really don't care about the pet too much, so I'm going to do these, get some free cash off of that, and, um, yeah. Alright, that is beautiful. Five ancient shards from a single kill. Um, it's kind of funny doing this, because it's basically, like, Zolra plus, like, every drop that it drops is, like, at least 150 to 200k. So, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Pretty nice to use this up. I'm sorry if, that I'm not doing the clues. I just, I, I just don't want to, and clues are really, clues literally fall from the sky at you when you're doing, uh, PVM, so... It's, it's not a big deal, guys. It's it's okay. Don't don't yell at me. It's it's okay. So this is the loot from twelve Scotizos. Yeah, one point six five mil. Let's let's just pull out the handy dandy calculator. One six two five divided by twelve. It's like a hundred thirty five k a kill. It's still less than Zolra. That's really sad. But twenty one ancient shards. That's amazing. So yeah, Arclight is going to be uh full actually for like the first time ever. Obviously, I don't want to waste it. 
Um, yeah, that pretty much just completely fills up the arc light. That was amazing. Hell yes, like, I don't even know how long, not long at all into the task, and we already got a Zenite, so I'm pretty freaking happy about that. It's my first solo Zenite in, like, forever. I've only gotten one on my Iron Man. I haven't really done them on here very much, so, yeah, awesome. No way. There's another Zenite shard, same trip. Um, obviously I died because there's a bunch of super restores on the ground. There's another Zenite shard. That's amazing. Uh, take that, Dave. You didn't want to duo with me. Fuck you. So, I purchased an Elder Maul. Why, you may ask. It's uh, fairly similar in DPS to a Bludgeon, and it's actually really cheap right now. It's like 70.3 mil. Um, I just sold a couple things. I think I just sold off my Loot Tab, my Bludgeon, and then just like my Eternals. So, I didn't have to really sell anything for it. And uh, against Gorillas, which is the main thing that I use the Bludgeon for, it actually has a chance of hitting, like it hits a lot higher. So, um, I'm not sure if it's actually better at Gorillas, but I don't know. I just felt like buying one because it's pretty fun, so... Uh, the DPS is pretty similar to a bludgeon, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's got some uses, I guess. It's also pretty useful in raids as well, so I'll try it out. So guys, this is a uh, relatively legendary moment. Alright, like, I'll just show you my bank. We got 26 mil. Alright. Alright, now, uh, where, where, do, where did all our gear go? That's weird. I, I wonder what's in the Grand Exchange. Got two coins back. And, um, a Twisted Bow. I've sold my literal entire bank for this Twisted Bow. So now the, uh, this is more or less a rebuild now. So, honestly, I am so hyped to use this. And uh, I got it for a very good price. It's very low right now, 1.1 bill. This is pretty much the lowest it's ever been. And, um, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do first, but probably some, some Sarah or something. I do have enough money to buy pegs, almost, so let's uh, try it out. So, the first place I've been using the bow at has been Brutal Dragons. I've just been kind of AFKing, editing a video, and uploading a video currently. But, um, yeah, it's pretty sick, as you can see, these just casual 64s without rigor. <laughs> yeah, I did a uh, Sarah trip as well, and I think, I forget what else I did. Um, something else, I didn't get any loot, so I didn't bother recording, but yeah, I'm loving the bow. I did a couple raids with it as well. Um, and I'm still getting, like, a good amount of points, even though I'm using, like, it's pretty funny. I should probably show you guys my gear, uh, set up for raids right now. I'm using a Glory and, like, a DDS for my spec weapon, so it's pretty funny, but, uh, yeah. I'm definitely loving the Twisted Bow. I would not recommend doing this, guys, by the way. Like, this is not, th this is not something you should follow suit in. If you have, a w exactly 1.1 bill bank, you should not sell everything for the Twisted Bow. It's just not worth it, but it's fun, and it gives me realistic goals, um, to kind of go for I, I kind of would like to just take a short clip and explain to you guys why I did it. Um, at the point where I was at, I was pretty much just saving for the Twisted Bow. So every episode was going to be, hey guys, I have 473 mil. That's good. I started the episode with 413 mil. It's like, that's really boring. I'm not actually gaining anything. So now that I have the bow, I'm kind of, I can use the bow and I have realistic item goals that I can go for again so I can just start getting my bank back. It really won't take too long to get my bank back to be honest. Um, this bow is really OP. Even just killing brutal black dragons is like over one mil an hour with this bow because you're like three hitting them so um, yeah I'm just doing red dragons right now because it's really crowded so um, yeah sorry sorry for the long clip. So I just got a jad task. I have a twisted bow that I can try out and uh, the fight kiln thing whatever I, I forget what it's called the inferno something like that has actually been announced, so I'm going to start stocking up on fire capes for that. Um, I figure it's probably going to take me a couple tries if it's actually as hard as people are assuming it's going to be, so yeah, I guess I'll try it out with the Twisted Bow. It should be pretty fun. 34 37. That's um, ridiculous. I was using rune arrows and not really tryharding too much. Yeah, Twisted Bow. It's pretty broken. I kind of just like one hit Jad, like right through the healers. There's like five hits. Nice. Ooh, 141 Dagnots. Can try it out at uh, Prime. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have any good gear for anything else, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do DKs at all. Might have to find somebody to duo with or something, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Another one. No way, dude. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So that is KC250. Um, we just did one afterwards because obviously we, went, we felt like going for the back to back because, yeah, you know, you always got to go for the back to back. But um, with that, obviously I got like a 54 mil split. So I bought myself a Serodom God Sword and a Dragonfire Shield Fury as well. Um, we have 2.6 mil left over. So we at least have kind of basic DK's gear. This is what I'm going to be going with. Hopefully this is good enough. And um, yeah, let's, let's try it out. So we're doing a, um, this is actually the first trio of the day, as you can see, 251kc, and uh, we got a four-man arcane scroll, not gonna be too big of a split, probably about like, probably under 10 mil actually, but hey, it's a drop, pretty cool. So it has been sold, the split is 9.1 mil, not even bad, I'll, I'll definitely take that. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Oh my god. No fucking way. <laughs> oh my. So the bow ended up selling for 951 mil. That actually, actually happened. Commentary. I just wanted to show you guys me splitting the bow just, you know, in case any of you guys okay, were curious. Then. Yeah, I obviously don't ever scam wow. my teammates, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that ended up being a 200 something mil split. I can't really see right now, but yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys the splits. Pretty awesome. Okay, so, um, gathered my thoughts, bought a few things, uh, Bandit's chest plate, tacits, chest plates, uh, prims, eternals, a couple things, Dragon War Hammer, I can contribute to my raids team a lot more, and still has 68 mil left over, um, I'm still kind of shaking, that's the best drop I've ever had, uh, the biggest split I've ever had in this entire game, and I'm incredibly happy with it, it's freaking amazing, I'll probably buy an imbued heart with the rest of it. Um, or maybe, maybe something else, I'm not sure, but our bank is, um, looking very beautiful. This series is actually starting to wrap up now after that split. We probably only got about 250 to 300 mil to go. Um, and the series will actually be over and I'm not sure what I'll do after that, but, um, if I don't sound too excited or shocked, it's like, I'm actually like kind of in shock a little bit. I'm just like, it, the, the payout finally happens for real. And it's like, that's by far the biggest split I've ever had. And I'm so hyped about it. It's freaking crazy, dude. <sighs> All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Hopefully you did enjoy, um, so much hype in this episode, honestly. I was going to end it with just, you know, selling the bank for the Twisted Bow, or maybe like a couple of clips into using the Twisted Bow, but obviously I wanted to get that out there. You, this episode is actually a bit longer than my usual episodes, but just the fact that I got that um, kind of like, it would have been like right at the beginning of an episode, and I wouldn't have been able to get this out for like a couple of days, so I figured I'd just throw that on the end. i um, so happy about that. The bank is obviously really amazing. There's, um, like I said, there's probably only a three to four hundred mil worth of stuff and then the mutagens and i'll actually be completed with the series so um that's just that's actually crazy so a lot of stuff is going to be happening in the next next episode doing me testing out the twisted bow in a lot of different places because i actually have the gear for it now and uh continuing on with slayer so yeah if you guys enjoyed this episode and are as hyped as i am feel free to leave a like helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys uh, in the next episode peace out man